I created Species Nutrition with one mission in mind, to provide bodybuilders and serious athletes with no-nonsense supplements that work. I put my name and reputation on every bottle of Species Nutrition products. If you want to be your absolute best, join the evolution. Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Monday, February 8th, 2023. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's the first International Chess Day of the month. And luckily for us, Sergio Oliva Jr. came in right on time, ready to deliver the goods. If you're a Sergio fan, there's no way you're not in love with what you're seeing from him right now because he's put together the best stretch of injury-free training that he's had in years. Up until a few weeks ago, there were some rumors circulating around that Sergio potentially would jump into the Arnold Classic, which obviously isn't going to happen now. But the mere fact that people were openly... But the mere fact that people were openly wondering about him jumping into a lineup like this tells you a lot about where he's at right now. It looks like he's finally back to being the guy we saw light up the stage a few years ago. And if he comes back as an improved version of what he was back in 21, don't be surprised if we see him start to make some noise as we head into the late spring and early summer. Now, if those clips from Sergio weren't enough to get you fired up this morning, how does Joe Mackey and Larry Wheels taking turns hammering out sets with 200 pound dumbbell sound? Last week, there were a handful of clips circulating around from these two linking up for a ridiculous chest training session, which apparently included Joe doing what Joe does best, tossing around weights for reps that the rest of us mere mortals can't even begin to wrap our heads around. I know this might sound like heresy, but Joe might actually be in a spot where he surpassed some of the insane stuff that we saw from Ronnie Coleman back in his prime which is something that I'm not sure any of us thought that we'd see in our lifetime. So if he can do enough to get himself into a position to add his first pro win to his resume, that right there feels like it would be the icing on the cake. We also have a brand new update for you today, courtesy of Blessing Awadibu. Now that the boogeyman is starting to kick things into high gear with this new phase of his off season. According to the latest reports coming from Blessings Camp right now, his weight is hovering somewhere in the low 290s, which is damn near impressive if those numbers are accurate, because this is the leanest that he's been with these numbers that high on the scale. We've heard anecdotally that there are plans for him to keep pushing forward this year, with the goal being to get over 300 pounds before he starts dialing it back for any sort of contest prep. But for him, I think the main focus right now is probably quality over quantity. Because if he can make the same year after year improvement from 2023 that we saw in 22, he's going to be a lot to deal with this season. And before we get out of here today, we have our first Masters Olympia announcement of the year from none other than the man himself, Mr. Johnny O. Jackson who went on the record recently to announce that he was planning to bring his talents to the return of the Masters Olympia this year. Now, if you're a newer bodybuilding fan or you haven't kept up with JOJ since he retired from competitive bodybuilding, now might, now might be a good time to do a little bit of homework because Johnny's never stopped training like a complete savage since he decided to hang up his posing trunks a few years ago. At this point, it's probably still way too early to get a sense of what this Masters roster is going to look like. But as a multi-time Olympian who stayed in great shape, Johnny probably deserves some serious consideration to be a top five finisher at this first show. His upper body was always as good as anyone's in bodybuilding. So if he's 85 or 90% of what he was, he at least has a puncher's chance to earn himself a unique little slice of history. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.